Hi, I'm Rebecca Watson. This is my weird alt channel where I'm going to be posting videos about stuff that I do. If you don't like this format, if you find it confusing and scary, then feel free to head back to my main channel. I'm going to continue making my regular videos about science and critical thinking over there, but I just thought it'd be fun to have a place to drop videos that are more casual, uh, talking about, I don't know, some of my hobbies and um, my travels. And this is a good video, I think, to put out early here because it's kind of a crossover episode. It's about my travel, but also it's a little bit about science because I recently visited the Monterey Bay Aquarium for the first time and I was blown away. Like, I knew I'd like it because I love aquariums in general, but this one is definitely one of the best aquariums I've ever been to. I mean, check this out. They let me gently caress a giant isopod <laughs> with my own two fingers. Uh, this guy is Bathynomus giganteus. It's the largest isopod in the world, they think. And yeah, I got to touch it. They have an incredible jelly exhibit, and it, it was so relaxing that I'm going to try to recreate that experience for you here, but without the occasional screams of children, <laughs> which wasn't, it wasn't too bad, but you know, I thought it would be even better wi without that part. Then they had this incredible tank with a 90 foot long window and inside there are these monster fish, pelagic stingrays, scalloped hammerhead sharks, yellowfin tuna, And a massive school of 7,000 Pacific sardines. And my favorite thing in this tank was something I had heard about, but I had never seen before. So I was really stoked to see it confirmed. A few months back, I read Life of Pi, which was pretty good. Uh, I didn't agree with the concluding philosophy, but it was a good read. And in the book, there's a boy on a raft in the open ocean, and to survive, he catches a fish he calls a dorado. And here's what the protagonist has to say about it. The dorado did a most extraordinary thing as it died. It began to flash all kinds of colors in rapid succession. Blue, green, red, gold, and violet flickered and shimmered neon-like on its surface as it struggled. I felt I was beating a rainbow to death. So the Dorado is its Spanish name. This fish is also known more commonly as the dolphin fish. And you probably best know it by its most marketable name because no one wants to eat a dolphin fish. So restaurants and supermarkets have gone with the Hawaiian name, which is Mahi Mahi. Uh, those are the guys with the big foreheads. So. I happen to show up to this deep sea exhibit at exactly feeding time. And it turns out you don't have to beat a mahi-mahi to death to see it change color. You just have to get it excited. 
and in this case, food. Got it, excited, big mood. So you can see them. Uh, I'm not sure how well I captured it on video, but they definitely flashed rainbow colors. It was really cool to see. These are spider crabs, which, um, fun science fact, came here from another dimension to give you nightmares. If you watch my main channel, you know I love cephalopods and they have so many at Monterey Bay Aquarium. Here are a few that really blew me away. The aquarium says that the best time to visit to avoid screaming children is in the afternoon, but I gotta say, even on a Sunday morning, it was blissful. Like, it was just so cool and educational and kind of like the closest thing to a spiritual experience someone like me can have, I think. Thanks for joining me. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe and like and comment. Uh, help out the algorithm and let me know you like it so I'll keep making these videos. Bye.